All right, guys, we're back. And uh, let's see here. Recent events. Practice free throws. That was a good plus. Now it's going back to be game time. I got to step up my game for sure, dudes. I really have not done very well, <laughs> to be to be honest. Um... I don't even get any tweets about me. That means I'm irrelevant. People not even hating on me. It means I'm irrelevant. I need to start making some things happen. It's like a lot of pressure though. They're like, make make buckets and don't like suck ass. And then I'm like, dude, I gotta try to make buckets or something. Or it's it's like, hey, you gotta make a bunch of assists or everybody's gonna laugh at you. <laughs> That's what it feels. And then I get zero assists and get seven turnovers instead. It's uh, one of those things where I feel like I want to be the superstar of the team, but I also want to just go out there and be invisible almost Do so I don't lose. Okay. You can't play the, those, those neat cinematics because of the... We're happy to have you with us. Because of the copyright behind it. This is Kevin Harlan with Steve Curry and Clark Kellogg. The starting five for our game. This Here is are starting lineup. Make some noise. Guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from Josh Smith in this one? And Kevin, he comes away with a lot of steals Nothing. by being patient and picking his spots and anticipating you know, when the shooter is going to go up. And then he just strips like it away from the first him play. and heads the other way. And another right. thing he's known for all over the league is what. Now that I've practiced it, I feel a little bit better about that, actually. In the first quarter. TBH. Wow, way to put me in right, right at the end of the quarter. Coach. Hawks ahead, leading by five. And what is my record on the team? It can't be very good. Just a moment. I wish it would show us on the screen, like, Pistons, like, three and eight or whatever. Hawks, whatever are. Our, uh, now the second thing. quarter getting ready to start up. And when you consider how it This guy's way taller than me. Steve, Clark, your thoughts? And they've done a nice job here offensively to establish a rhythm a rebound. And pace to this game. And I Take like that. that they're finding ways to score. Playing well here, Steve. Hughes in a shooting guard. Yeah. Scott is out there with Damari Carroll. Then it's Martin, and it's Schroeder in at the point. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris. Get to the, to the line. Kevin, no, you're Josh not open. Smith I got you right over here, buddy. Big name free agent signing for the Detroit Pistons, a team who tied for the seventh worst record in the league last season, <laughs> and third worst in fan attendance. A bit of a surprise choice for Smith. Well, I'm not going to say nothing, but Detroit's not the, probably the best place to be at. That's all decision, I know. And also stated that winning was all he cared about. Kevin, his quote, shot at a title may still be gotcha. a ways away. But 56 million over four years isn't chump change. And he will make 56 much mil? better. Back to you. He's become the face of the franchise, Doris. Thank you. The He's not a franchise, though. That's fucking, Steams that's a joke. Lineham kicks to Mitchell. One dude like that's not going to change a team a around. A three. A, takes up a lot of capital. Detroit. No good that time either. You know, you look at the Pistons, and they have a fair amount of young talent to build around. But nice. one element they lack was perimeter shooting. As a result, they never Make really were throws. I got to get to the line. That's one thing I want to try to do. When you can't do that, it makes it hard to score. Oh, Passes it to Bynum. Here's Caldwell Pope. Thank God he's missing that, dude. I'm leaving him wide open. It just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's Dang, dude, our guys are killing um, At least as I look at it. Good shot. Well, Clark, going back to what you said about the Pistons, they weren't bad percentage-wise in terms of making threes, but they didn't have anyone who could really be a threat for them uh, more than occasional. And that's something that's going to be important for them going forward because of the oh, I just got of their interior like just guys like Greg juked. Monroe and Josh Smith and Drummond. They need floor spacing. They wow. need room to roam in the paint. Good shot. Continue to add shooting. Back to the bench. And so half -time. we the first half. Doris Burke, you look lead by 12. probably a little and bit better than, than, than Josh, right here. what do you need to do in you. the second half as a team to come away with and not suck? Brought to you by That's what you have to do, Josh. 
Thanks, everyone, for being with us for the midweek edition. The Sprint Halftime I want to make that Halftime Report. Presented by Sprint. What do I have to do to make that Halftime Report where they're like, yeah, uh, Q has just well, ripped it up. He's awesome. So far through the first two quarters. All right. Third quarter, three minutes left. That's about right. Looking at the last game for the Atlanta Hawks, it was a loss to the Heat in Miami. Yeah, they gave away a lot of points at the free throw line in that game. Maybe it was going? being on the road. Where are you maybe, going? Uh, D up. Sink, something had them rattled. Uh, Steve, I don't know if it was the biggest reason for that done. loss, but clearly the misses from the strike. This guy looks like that, that shot of him. He looks like the dude in the um, the Call of Duty the zombie map. What the hell was it? The three. Not Origins, the other one. Where the dude's in the locked in the cell. That's what the homeboy looks like. That's hilarious. Nights and not for anything positive. In a January game against a tough Bulls team, the Hawks only scored 58 points over the course of the entire yeah. game. As you right, said, the go. Hawks had one of the worst offensive nights, Clark, in the NBA. Yeah. But overall, we're a solid offensive team. Right around the middle of the league. Steve just goes to show Ooh, what I did it. happen when a team goes cold. those free throws. Yeah, you don't have that one guy who you can always lean on to score. I mean, there are going to be some nights where everything just misses. And I think that was the case that game against Chicago. It was kind of bizarre, but hey, over the course of 82 games, it's going to happen. Yep, fellas. That's good. Oh, it's Bynum with the assist. Caldwell Pope's got 10. So for the Pistons, their last game, a win against New York. Yeah, and offensively, everything seemed to come together for them. It, oh, know, it seemed pass. like everything they tried worked. And with a multifaceted approach like the one they had, it takes a sophisticated defense to stop it, which was not the case that day. Just five on the clock. Oh, no, I was trying to go low. It went from X to A for some reason. That was weird. Oh, well, at least he got it. Schroeder's got the lead up to 13 now for the Jeff Hawks. Schroeder's. Detroit's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Bynum kicks to Smith. I don't know what I'm doing. I was trying to change Here's the, the camera angle. Stucky. I don't know what happened there. The feed to Steam Smith. Oh, jeez. Nine points in the game so far. God damn. Lenny or whatever the hell. What was his name? He, that's what he looks like, dude. The guy, the big, the big ogre guy. Schroeder passes to Q. Kicks to Brandt. That's a good pass. So it's someone told me. From the baseline, and yeah. Look at that. Brand's got four points now in the quarter. I'm shooting 100%, huh? Because I'm not. No I'm playing a little bit more smart. I'm not. Smart. I'm not uh, high percentage shots they've been working um, for and getting. The pass to shoot everything. I'm passing. Like a point guard should do. Fades and shoots. And he gets the bucket. Smith's got eight points. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Here's Q. And there's the three-second violation. Oh, no. That was dumb. And let's go down to a list of players you can't leave open under any circumstances. This season's most accurate, small forwards from the field. Probably should have left that out by open Josh so Smith. I could see. Well, that is such an efficient group offensively. That's really the best way to describe them. Nothing forced, just solid, smart shots. And at small forward, that's the only way to post that kind of percentage. I mean, oh, just letting them fly from the perimeter isn't going to get it done. You've got to get it inside some, too. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. Ooh, that was what? tough. A lot of those that was tough. Points at the other end. I haven't been as I'm impressed. I'm impressed with myself on that one. I'm still shooting 100, huh? I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. Stucky right side, uh -oh. inside. Oh, that was a good pass. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. And that's why teams uh, emphasize. I really do like the shooting guard side better. Just to get you some Top. open looks uh, like that. Ooh. And as that's pretty the tough. Quarter, a... That Smith looks like he had bitter beer face. The the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Look at these guys. Man, what are you guys going crazy for over there? The farm assist the game. Hold on. Well, assist, fourth is a game over. You know, let's play? Uh, you know, we play no more. Well, they don't get much more excited. Well, Paul, congratulations on this win. It. it seemed like this game was getting away from you at points. What does the team when? take away from this game in terms of experience? Uh, not what I was playing. You know, we got to do a better job of executing down the stretch. You know, as simple as that. Um, we're just glad we got this win. We just can't let these things happen in the future. Yeah. Coach should have played me. I guess Coach will have learned. I hit my free throws. I don't get any points for that. Fair performance. I love how I get a fair performance.
That's weak sauce, dude. For as much as I played, I felt like I did pretty good. My position's 83rd, though. Too many, too many, uh, players on this, uh, team here. Makes it, di makes it difficult to be number one. Uh, Greetings, this is your captain speaking. We have been cleared for landing into the Motor City. We should be at the gate soon and enjoy your stay in Detroit. Yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate all the positive words. You were at the game? Awesome. Um, too close for comfort indeed. Mother, mother driver should have been, uh, been playing me. Just saying, coach should put me in. Put me in, coach. Now what? We're off to another. Man, in real life, my fantasy team is getting destroyed. I don't know what I'm doing with fantasy, though. I've never played. It up, come on, dudes. Yeah. This pass. A wonderfully symmetrical Kill skyline best. you have to love downtown Detroit. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Along with Steve, doing this again, Kerr, huh? And our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Come on, this we just did this. Why do we have to play all the same teams over and over again? Kind of weird. Let me in the game. Let me in the game, coach. Pistons are beating us. How are they beating us? 24 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Oh, that's how you... Okay. Offensive rebound. I gotta hit the eight, B button. To pick. Right there. Definitely, I think he should have converted that one. Oh no, the B button's a charge, not pick. What the hell? Jennings dishes to Bynum. I gotta figure that out. And yeah. misses it off the right side of the rim. I was into the first. How the hell do I pick, dude? I gotta learn how to pick. We're down by seven. Ladies and gents. Tune in Friday, November 23rd. Rajon I don't know, Celtics. Uh, Celtics aren't doing that good, though, either, I don't think, right? All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. We need to focus on taking the ball. Don't waste another turnover. Approach has been hey, I didn't so turn over once, the bitches. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. Well, the other thing I like Got is defensively, guy. they're causing turnovers, and that's allowing them to get into transition. They've got Kyle Singla. Have that well ball, dude. There with Bynum. Then there's Charlie Villanueva, and it's your Repco. What is Mark? The You're too big ball. to be hanging on the ball. That's the group for Detroit right now. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Shutter, what are you doing? Well, Josh Smith with over four assists per game last season. Oh, he got dunked on, on Power forwards. Maybe let's not do that. I like passing the basketball. Schroeder, take care of the ball. Guys, Smith is such a versatile What in the hell are you doing, Schroeder? No surprise to see him richly rewarded with his new contract this season. And Doris with his Wow, nobody on the glass. Nobody in the, in the, in the, in the pain you. trying to get a rebound. Well, for Detroit, their last game, a loss to the Atlanta Jesus. Hawks. Well, you hate to say it, but they showed a, a lack of heart at the defensive end in losing that game. Just no effort. What? You know, I know the fans Good don't want to hear it, but you're exactly right. There was no energy, sure, no assertiveness, no aggressiveness. The defense was just lifeless. Nice. Not a night that they're going to look back on fondly. Nice. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Damn, Take we're six. Look at the Pistons. Right now, they're in seventh six. in the conference, looking to build on their record. Yeah, and of course, my record's Atlanta, horrible. Half game back. Well, right now for the Hawks, the thing with them is they haven't really established an identity for themselves as a team. They never have seemed to come up with a plan and, and stick to it for we're very long. six They've and been six. All over Man, I've lost like three of those of games identity. for us. <laughs> yeah, put that on the coaching staff it's true, it's true. Else. Clark, a coherent strategy has to be in Get place. Out of here. Or it's impossible My to team got me. Standings. Millsap with it. Now defended you by oh, Caldwell you better get Pope. that. One of the sweetest moves in the game, the reverse layup in traffic. Sweetest moves and in the game. Two minutes of action here in the second quarter. 
Well, Millsap, a uh, great signing with the Hawks. Two-year deal, yep. 19 million. Uh, you like the skill level? A guy who battles inside. And yeah, I guess Millsap is probably the go-to guy. I probably should pass it anymore. What the hell? Oh, oh good dude. From Q. I accidentally shot, shot that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that would be the good time to do it. Not now, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I knew I was going to do that soon. I've been trying not to be dumb. I, I always want to hit the right th stick, thumbstick just to move forward from just playing too many first person shooters. That's good. Oh, dude, we're going to own point piston lead. And you look at the development. But the trigger, I just assume, is going to shoot. Improved as a passer, as a shooter at the line. His overall game is upward. He's even starting to shoot more threes these days. Right. Yeah, he's, he's undersized. Good shot, right? He knows how to use the rim to protect his finish. I think what I like best about him is just his constant energy. Time called here. The Pistons decide Man, to five point over. Right? And we finish one half of basketball. Man. Josh Smith and Josh, what is it going to take in this game in the second half to come out with a win? Well, up though. Everybody's got to get it. I didn't realize we, we just won like that. We have the opportunity to run the floor and get out and get us some easy. Now, Josh Smith, we don't even want to hear. We don't even want to hear from you, Josh. We don't even want to hear. And it's halftime on 2K Sports. Keep it right here as we break down the first half. The Hawks are playing well up to the break. A young NBA season. They're looking to climb over 500 with a win here. Their Hope second unit so. giving them instant offense. They've gone to their bench for scoring, and they've answered the call. Excellent. Halftime, Halftime report. report. Brought to you by Sprint. <laughs> Marketing mayhem in this game. Spalding, State Farm, and Sprint. The first two quarters. It's just ridiculous. Let's get me in the game, huh? Come on, coach. We're up by seven. Third, I got this. The Hawks leading by seven. On the court for oh, the ball, my guy. He'll zap it power forward with Horford at center. Schroeder is out there with Q. And it's it? Jenkins in at the small forward position. You know, I love watching a guy like Paul Millsap play because he's so efficient in his Yeah, movement. you guys like Millsap. You he's said crafty. that. He's able to score big numbers on guys much bigger than him. Make it happen, Millsap. Both free throws good for Millsap. Good. And Millsap, not quite six foot eight, but he's got everything else. A motor, skill level, and Steve IQ for the game. Yeah, very well rounded. And his wingspan really Ooh. helps defensively. You know, he's led all power forwards in steals each of the last three seasons. So he really does a nice job defensively. And the Hawks Good making a change here. Corver's checked in. Good for Millsap. Gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. And here's Jennings outside. What? And that one's good. He just pulled one of those on there, huh? Percentage has taken a big leap up since the start of the second half. They're starting to find the ring. Steve, the lasers are starting to do their thing. That's going to be the ticket oh, for them nothing? the rest of the way. He's far too tentative in the paint. Damn, Even dude. more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. Kicks it to Monroe. Stolen away. I helped that. And I fed the ball. And that one's good. I'll take it. I'll take guys, that assist. God damn, I needed that after my Atlanta. lackluster shot. The defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted Man. in a lot of oh, fast yeah, break go. points. Pushing it up. Here's Schroeder. Uh, and they will wow. Get the basket here, folks. Another goal, and that's a fourth one this whole entire game. That, you know, games that, that we've seen so far of like the... What is it, eight or nine gameplays so with, uh, with a goaltend? It just feels like there's so many more goaltends than Josh in real Smith. life. And it's Mitchell in for Brandon Man. Jennings. How about a guy who's scoring? The Atlanta Hawks coming to this one after the win against the Detroit Pistons. That yeah, didn't seem to be much of a challenge for them uh, in that game. It seemed like uh, they scored at will. Take Not that. much defense that they were facing. Yep, they had the defense on its heels early the entire game. Oh. But Nearly the entire game. My coach is going to no make me. No matter what unit was out there, looked like a mismatch to me. Steams much. I was like, my coach is going to be making me do so many free throws again. The Hawks made the playoffs again, but ended up losing in the first round to the Pacers in six games. Dropped the first two in Indiana, won the next two in Atlanta, but it all ended when the Pacers got them in Game Six. 
Caldwell Pope kicks the bite. I'm glad I didn't get caught for just five on the clock. Uh, whatever. Oh, Three Jesus. Pointer. Really? Dude, my dude scored so many points. I need to work on my defense. That is not Dang, that's embarrassing. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good. Got to get that ball to Millsap. There we go. Well, and for the Hawks, it's been six consecutive seasons with basically this group. Certainly, Joe Johnson left as a free agent to Brooklyn. But, Steve, they have yet to get past the second round in any of those playoff runs. I think that's why they decided to part ways with Josh Smith uh, and, and originally with Joe Johnson. Two seasons ago, just to... We got we to, gotta like, step, step it up fresh. here. They may take a dip here, uh, but I think the, the future does look bright. Atlanta leading by six. Five seconds, separating the shot and game clocks. Trying his luck deep. Ooh, why did I do that? Pulls it in. Detroit's gotten going here in the second half. I always just want to shoot it. Four from the arc. Oh, oh nope. and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. The shot's good There we from go. Q. Because I got something. Points in, the game. in real life, dude, I, I was always so bad at making fast break off, shots guys. whenever yep, I play. Right to the like I could never, I could never make a layup for some reason. So bad. The points coming in bunches. I don't know what to be said about that. All right. Up a little bit. Bam, 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 bam. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as Black we approach the dope. fourth quarter. And Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm yeah, assist yeah, of the game. Yeah. Coming on some I'm very benched again. Play. Six minutes left. Final. So the Hawks take Man. The win. Can we they do it? Off this win, Clark, with respectable at least we won. I'm glad I guess we won. I didn't have to finish it up myself even. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Crazy. For Stephen Doris and the rest of the crew, Kevin Harlan saying, see. 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 Whatever, dude. I did good that game for me. I'll take it. And I got my dynamic bonus. Pretty impressed with myself. Um... Next day, player lounge. I guess I'll see this and then I'm gonna quit this game. Why isn't it not Man, saved? Now what? Great news. Keep for this and only that. What the hell is it? Yeah, you can't be serious. You expect me to wear that in public? I'm going to punch you in your face. I ain't doing shit, Elton Brown. I'm going to punch you in your... No fucking way. I'll punch you in your ain't face. No way I'm wearing that thing. Well, what are you going to do, Brand? Nah, you can <laughs> keep it. Nope. Mute, Brand. Get out of here. Hey, don't get it twisted. I want to be a part of this team, and I'll do everything I can on the court to make that happen, but when it comes to this nonsense, that's where I draw the line, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm a big boy. I, I can take care of myself. Hilton Brand is threatening me. We'll see. Oh, uh, Elton Brand can eat my nuts. That's what I say to Elton Brand. All right, we'll catch you guys next episode, see what happens.